Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, we had all kinds of fun with Lou's compost bin project that he constructed entirely out of leftovers, the old engine box, uh, the pallets that he took apart. And today, we are going to carry on with the leftover theme because, as I always say, when you work with reclaimed materials um, creatively or you're creating some of your own art supplies, it really does amp up the creative uh, experience that you get. I've also found that when people work with reclaimed materials, they tend to be a little less inhibited, a little freer. It's more, uh, you know, uh, less intimidating than that brand new pristine canvas that you've unwrapped uh, that you bought at the store. So uh, today's leftover that we are working with creatively is actually this really common uh, building material, this OSB board. Uh, and this was inspired by, I was visiting my parents and they had a small little remodel going on, really small project. And there was a big pile of this uh, ready to get tossed into the dumpster. And I thought, oh, what a waste that all of that's going to get thrown out. So uh, we took it and tried to, you know, we squared it up and cut out as many panels as we could out of each of those leftover bits. So there was very little waste. And I've discovered that these make beautiful canvases and art panels for you to work on. There's all kinds of uh, built-in texture. And when you uh, go over it with your color, you can get all kinds of cool effects. And they have a really earthy, organic feel and look to them, uh, like bamboo, um, a plant material, uh, grasses, uh, just so many cool looks that you can get from this. And once you have um, your pieces cut down, I like to lightly sand them. Um, and I generally work on the front side. The front side, you'll notice, is a little bit smoother finish. Uh, to it. The back side is going to be a little rougher, uh, but again, there's no rules and creativity, no boundaries. So if you want to play on the back side, that's cool as well. It's going to um, just be a little bit rougher. It'll probably uh, really um, absorb uh, your paint material and so forth a little bit more so than working on the front. But uh, I've also um, discovered that uh, putting things lightly, you know, your different coats of paint, uh, your stains, whatever you're gonna be working with um, uh, on these that uh, use, you know, light coats and put it on thinly and then you can build it up. If you apply your uh, mediums too heavily, that's gonna get all caught up in those um, recessed areas and you're gonna lose some of that interest with the um, texture and all of that that's built in. So I'll just take, um, if I'm working with you know just uh, some leftover paints uh, again this is a really great canvas that you can do all kinds of different mediums on so uh, use you know work with what you have if you have some leftover house paint uh, play around with that but I'll brush my paint on lightly and then I have lots of rags on hand usually when I'm painting on these and then I'll wipe that away and you can see the difference. If I just brushed my paints on and let it dry, you're gonna lose some of that interest with um, the texture of the strands and so forth. So just put your coats on um, thinly. You can keep building that up. And then I like to come over the top of this with a contrasting color. That's gonna um, even bring to life more of that texture with the different um, strands that are in there. I've got um, one here, this is uh, a lighter color. And then you can go over the top of it with this stained wax is really nice. You can get it in different um, shades. And I will just lightly put some of that, oops, not so lightly there, on there. And then again, I'll just kind of wipe that away. And you can see how it's picking up all of those cool designs. And when you're using it with the wax built in, this is really nice because um, when it dries, then you can buff that out and it has a really nice finish to it um, and it seals it. So um, the waxes are nice to play around with, but so many different treatments that you can give these. Um, I like to uh, sand down the edges when I'm done, round them over. You can just um, leave them as raw panels to hang. You can also frame them out. Uh, in different ways, get some cool framing material. That's gonna give them some interesting looks. You can work with them, you know, just naturally, um, putting some sealers on there, uh, using just stains instead of the paints. Um, that's gonna give you some interesting looks or, uh, you know, really play up those individual strands. You can create some cool designs and patterns uh, by painting uh, the strands that are on there and isolating different sections uh, in fun ways. That's another way to go about using it. But it's a leftover material. Don't let it go to waste. Cut them down into these beautiful panels and get to work on them creatively. I think you two will have as much fun playing around with these as we do.
All right. Always a lot of fun. Always uh, more stuff that you can find, too, Such Jackie. creative ideas. Yeah, if you ever want to learn more about kind of what we do beyond our program and some interests we have, especially with Michelle and everything she does creatively, uh, text the word LIVE to 515-457-1026, and you'll be sent a link where you can go beyond.